I thought I heard you prowling about down here. What are you doing up so early? Oh, I couldn't sleep. Me neither. Too much lemon in my G and T give me heartburn. What's your excuse? I'm beginning to think there's not one man in the whole world that I can trust. What are you talking about? Ashley. Last night he told me that he loved me. He's been in love with me for ages, apparently. Oh. So he finally got around to telling you then? You knew? It's pretty obvious, sweetheart. He's been sending out more signals than a ship in distress. Well, I never picked any of them up. Let's face it, reading a fella's intentions has never been your strong point. Well, why didn't you tell me? Well, I thought about it. But after the Gavin fiasco, the last thing you needed was the vicar's big eyes and heavy breathing. You saying Ashley's a heavy breather? He pants. Men in love pant. I feel like he's betrayed me. I confided in him. I mean, why can't I just be friends with a man without something like this happening? Is that what you said to him last night? I didn't say anything. I, I just left. Oh, I couldn't face him. Mum, what am I going to do? Well, I hope you're ready for breakfast. I'm not too early. Oh, no, I'm starving. I've been existing on hospital food, remember? I wasn't expecting this, though. Well, it was a team effort. I made the tea. Yeah, and I made the toast. And I poured out the orange juice. <laughs> Go on, then, get stuck in. <laughs> You asked for a traditional Spanish breakfast? There you are. Churras con chocolate, right? I'm impressed. Well, I spent a few weeks in Spain one summer when I was a student. I didn't think English holidaymakers got out for breakfast. It wasn't that type of trip. I was travelling south looking at the Moorish cities. Granada, Seville, Jerez. I loved it. Well, if you like Spain, you should come and eat here one evening. Carlos has revised the menu. What are you going to do? Paella? That sort of thing? Paella, tortilla española, and lots more besides. I'll show you. El Bondigas. I recognise that for some reason. Meatballs. Very simple, very tasty. Oh, I remember. I have coffee and khakis. You booked it for a service, remember? Well, I didn't know with the crash whether Lisa was feeling up to it. I meant to ask. No, that's no problem. We're still doing his normal work. OK, get my keys. Well, it looks very impressive. Good luck. Cheers, mate. <laughs> How many tea bags did you put in? Um, <laughs> you know, Zach, I didn't enjoy saying what I did about Lisa and the crash. Is that right? I know what you were thinking. You reckon I told you so you should think twice about asking Lisa to come back and telling me to sling milk? Well, you've got to admit, timing-wise, it were a bit of a coincidence. I wouldn't use our butcher's memory just so I could stay here. Wouldn't you? Cause I flaming well wouldn't. He won me own flesh and blood. God. Is that all you think of me? No. No, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have said it. I know you want your wife and kitty back with you. It's only natural. But that crash were her fault, Zack. It had to be. And you couldn't live with her after that, could you? You're jumping the gun, woman. It's just a rumour. Bit of malicious gossip. So let's hear no more about it, all right? You and Mark had a row. Get lost. Have you, uh, have you chucked her? Get stuffed. See you at dinner time. Usual place. Okay. Richie? What are you doing here? I had to come and see you, Sarah. What about Jack? He's been driving me mad. You're back home, but I can't talk to you. I can't touch you. Sarah. No, Richie. Do you want me to kiss you? No, not here. 
Sarah, I, I can't stop thinking about you. I, I don't sleep, I can't get any work done. I want you. Well, you just have to be patient. I can't be patient. Richie, I said no. I'm a mean it. Now get out, please. You do still want me, though, don't you? This is really unfair. Just leave, please. OK. I think they found the cause of the accident. They reckon the brakes on the lorry failed. That's not your fault. I know there were some jobs that aren't finished. Well, I know you, Lisa. You wouldn't let that lorry go out if it had dodgy brakes. Pete wanted to take it out, and I told him it wasn't ready. But I can't be sure which jobs I've finished and which I hadn't. I just... I can't remember. I've never been out with anyone like Adam before. He's such a decent bloke. Mm, he's got lovely manners, and he treats me like a lady. Most of the fellas I've met, I buy you half a lager, a packet of salt and vinegar crisps, and head straight for your bra strap. Snakes are smooth, Trisha, but you can't trust them. And what would you know? It's just a dingle. <laughs> Hi, Trisha. There was nobody at the bar, so I thought I'd come through. Hey, hey! I've told you before, you can't come in here. Have you never heard of health and safety? Oh, shut it, Marlon! No, don't blame me if he gets damaged. Oh. Actually, I came in to firm up the arrangements for tonight. Oh, uh... Firm away. <laughs> well, I thought you could come over to my place about eight and I'll cook you a cosy little dinner. What do you say? Mm, sounds great. <laughs> what are you going to do? Fricassee one of your patients? Actually, I'm going to cook albondigas. Mm, what's that then? <laughs> it's a bit exotic, a bit special. A bit like you, actually. Mm. <laughs> well, it's overrated if you ask me. <clears throat> well, that's all right, isn't it? Because you won't be eating it. I'll see you later. So what is it then, Marlon? This album die, what's it? It, um... You ain't got a clue, have you? It'll be like him, um, flash, fancy and full of notes. Here, Bernice. Never guess what Adam's doing for me tonight. I'm sorry, Trisha, but if it's anything to do with romance, I don't want to know. Well, what's the matter? What have I said? Oh, it's not you, Trisha. I didn't mean to snap. Oh, then, what is it? You can tell me. Well, you might as well know. But it's just between the two of us. Oh, I won't say a word to no one. What do you want? I think it's time I received my first dividend from Tate Technology. Oh, yeah? I can't pay you a penny at the moment. Can't? What sort of talk is that? Look, you know as well as I do that all the money's tied up. There's no spare cash. Oh. You're breaking my heart. I can't give you money that I don't have. It's impossible. Anything's possible, Richie. I mean, let's face it, who'd have thought you'd have fallen for an OAP? Talk about Sarah like that. <laughs> Come on, what is she anyway? Some sort of grandmother substitute? I'm warning you, Scott. Shut it! Go on, hit me. Because it'll make it even more convincing when I talk to Jack. <sighs> How much do you want? Oh, we said 10% of the profit, didn't we? As soon as there are no profits. So 50 quid to be going on with. 50 quid? You know what you are, don't you? It won't bounce, will it? Get out. Thank you. Police came round this morning and took my papers away. It's just part of the investigation. What are they expecting to find? Something to shed more light on the lorry's last service. I gave Blanchard all our papers as well. 
including your incomplete service record. What did you do that for? Well, I could hardly withhold evidence. I told Pete I hadn't finished. I warned him not to take that wagon out. Well, it's a pity you didn't tell me at the time. Pete must have said something. I'm afraid not. And uh, in the circumstances, as of today, I'm suspending our service contract with you until we know the outcome of the investigation. You can't do that. It's like saying you think I'm responsible. It is a decision taken purely on business grounds. I have to restore customer confidence. Don't, please, Chris, I beg you. Can't you see what this looks like? <sighs> My mind is made up. I'm sorry, Lisa, but I don't have any choice. Now you've told me about Ashley, a lot of things seem to make sense. What do you mean? Well, things he said. Like when Gavin was here. He was always asking me things about him. Well, he didn't tell you he was in love with me, did he? I mean, I wasn't the only person who didn't notice. No, of course not. But I reckon he thought Gavin wasn't worthy of you. Well, I knew he felt protective towards me, but I, I thought that's because he was my friend. Mm. And all the time he's been harbouring a secret passion for me. Oof. When I think about that night we slept together. You what? On the camping trip. His tent got flooded, so he had to come in with me. And I thought we were just snuggling up together for a bit of warmth mm. and comfort. I've fallen for that one a time or two. <sighs> yeah, well, I thought Ashley was different. What was he thinking about lying next to me? Mm. Doesn't take a genius to work that one out. I feel like he's abused my friendship. I wonder what it's like being snogged by a vicar. Hello, Bernice. Ashley? I don't know whether I should come. I've been worrying about it all morning. I didn't mean to upset you. It's a bit late for that now, isn't it? Perhaps we could go through to the back. I'd like to explain. I think you said quite enough last night. Oh. In that case, I suppose I'd better go. Yes, Ashley. I think you had. He's given them the service record and suspended our contract. They're bound to think it's my fault. But well, you told Pete Chris wasn't even there, so it's not like he's a witness. Well, stick to truth, Lisa. You'll be all right. You're a good lad, Roy. I appreciate your support. But you're going to think I've got a funny way of showing it. How do you mean? I'm going to have to cut your hours. Without Tate Ollidge, I've only got enough work for two or three days a week. I'm sorry, love. Oh, it's not your fault, is it? Just uh, have to build things up again. Can I ask a favour, though? Of course you can. But just that uh, you don't mention out to Kelly about cutting me hours. She's been through a lot lately, and I, I just don't want to say out to make her feel down, you know? I won't say a word. Are you ready? Romeo and Juliet, we're doing it in English. Yeah, we did it last year. It's brilliant. It's OK. I read the balcony scene this morning. I kept thinking about you and me. Did you? Yeah. The parents tried to stop them from seeing each other, but they couldn't, because they loved each other. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't do much good. They ended up dead. We won't. I wouldn't count on it. Not if your mum finds out you're going to the primal scream gig with me. She won't. It's all right you saying that. You've got to get out of the house. Stay the whole evening and then get back without her knowing you've gone. How are you going to do that? With love's light wings did I perch these walls, for stony limits cannot hold love out. If you say so. There you go, Roy. Cheers, cheers. Whoa, whoa. What were the police doing at your place this morning? They were investigating crash, weren't they? Yeah, but what are they after? I don't know, they spoke to Lisa, not me. If you want to find out what went on, speak to her. Oh, uh, Marlon. You've got your ear close to the ground, haven't you, working here? What have you heard about this investigation? Mate, all I hear is pub talk, innit? 
Yeah, but some of them must make sense. <sighs> OK, for what it's worth, they've, uh, they know people weren't drunk. They've been to the oilage yard, checked the trucks, taken away a load of papers, you know, normal criminal investigation type stuff. So they reckon a crime's been committed, do they? I don't know, Zach. It's, that's just, it's a form of words, isn't it? Now, if you don't mind, I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah, go on, lad. Yeah, tell. Hey. Oh, cheers, man. So, tell me, Paddy, what do you reckon to this new vet of yours? Why? Cos I think he's a full star prat who's so full of himself he's likely to burst. Marlon, I don't think that's very fair. I'll give him five stars. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> What's he done to upset you? Oh, I'm just speaking out of concern for a colleague. Patricia? Oh, he's meant to be taking her out, isn't he? Yeah, it's not right for her. Do you mean it's not right for his absolute... You want to get in there yourself, don't you? I'm looking out from here, that's all. So keep it to yourself. Not that there's anything to keep to yourself. OK? Yeah. <laughs> Have you been? Oh, you know. Surviving. And how's Belle? Oh, she's great. Bless her. Now, nah, we'll give her a big kiss from me, won't you? I will. Uh, I was going to make a broom. Uh, no, Tara. No, I'm not stopping. I came because... Uh, the reason, the reason I'm here... Oh, I, I don't like to say this. You're not usually back with it coming forward? No, you're right. I came because... I'm here because there's something I want to ask you. It's been preying on my mind. Oh, for goodness sake, Zach, spit it out. Yeah, OK. It's difficult. I want you to tell me that that crash had nought to do with you. It weren't your fault, were it? I want you to put my mind at rest. I know it can't have been your fault. Please, Lisa. Tell me. Oh, no. Lisa. He said all that? Ashley? Well, I had no idea he felt like that about me. <sighs> Hello, Cathy. Marlon? How's business? Oh, fantastic. Now I've got the best chef in all the Dales. He's not but a jump to bomb maker. Oh, no, he's rather special. In fact, I'm thinking of hosting a dinner for the victims of the crash charity. Carlos can really go to town on the menu and we can raise some money at the same time. He'll never manage all that. Oh, and you could. Do pigs find truffles? Hmm? How about a competition, then, instead of the dinner? I think that's a much better idea, don't you, Bernice? Hmm. You could be my champion, Marlon. <laughs> right into battle, brandishing your spatula. If it's not beneath you taking on a jumped-up omelette maker... I'll, uh, I'll think about it. If you're wanting your dinner, Richie, I'm afraid we're running a bit late. It's OK, there's no rush. Put a pan on for some spuds, if you like. OK. Lisa, are you there? Lisa? <laughs> Lisa, what's the matter? What's happened? Oh, Kathy, look. Diane, working as you do in close proximity to Carlos, you'll have the opportunity to observe his technique. Afraid not. I don't think he goes for the older woman. No. I'm talking about his cooking. What are his, what are his specialities? It'll cost you. Bernays, another drink for your mum, please. He does a lot of Spanish stuff. Albondigas. That's right. I'd never heard of it. The rat. Oh, he's very nice when you get to know him. I'm not talking about Carlos. There you go, Mum. Hey. 
Answer me one question. Today, did you or did you not cook Albon Degas for Adam Forrester? How do you know about that? Yeah, that funny. Huh? It doesn't surprise me. You'll be telling Trish it's just something he threw together after a tricky lambing. <laughs> well, it was a job. He paid me. Well, there's one consolation. If he wanted to impress her, he chose the wrong chef. You've hardly said a word since you got back. Where'd you go, any road? Out. Where? Bookies? Boozer? For God's sake, Nelly, give it a rest. Oh, I'm just curious, that's all. Nausea, more like. Want another cup of tea? No. You went to see Lisa, didn't you? For the last time, it is none of your flaming business where I went! You went to see Lisa and you asked her about the accident. She's up to her neck in it, isn't she? I don't need to listen to this. Zach! It don't give me no pleasure knowing I'm right. What are you so afraid of? I'm sorry, I don't follow. I was talking to Lisa. Poor woman's distraught, and after the way you've treated her, I am not surprised. Look, I'm sorry if she's upset, but as I explained to her, I'm simply acting in the best interest of Tate Haulage. Come off here, Chris. You're hanging her out to dry. I have a responsibility to my customers. They expect me to take some sort of decisive action. What about your responsibility to the village? I've rerouted the lorries for the time being. That'll cost the company a lot of money. That's all you really care about, isn't it? Your precious company! I'm a businessman. People want to know what happened, what caused the accident. I can understand that. I'm cooperating fully with the investigation. No, Chris, no. You're looking out for number one, same as usual. Well, what more am I supposed to do? Go on, tell me. Stop hiding. What? You're hiding behind the company and you're hiding behind the investigation. That's nonsense. I want the truth to come out. And if you're standing in the way of that, you've got a fight on your hands, I promise you. <laughs> 